Thank you. So the pizza's all done and the temperature started to cool. And now what do we got? Some homemade bread. But this is gonna be my first time making like a nut bread with cinnamon. You gotta show them. Mmm, don't Looks that look so yummy? As the temperature cools, we cook different foods. At first it was pizza, that needs a lot of temperature. Now as it cools down, we go bread, we go cookies, we go dehydration. We go Kai, I'm just kidding. <laughs> A lot of our YouTube audience always asks that when we're finished with these projects, we do one video showing the entire project time lapse start to finish. That's what this video is, but we always throw some new footage in there for our, um, our loyal followers that follow our journey. So at the end of the video, we'll show you how this bread comes out of the oven, and then we'll also show you the cookies we're going to put in there as well. And then we'll come back in uh, you know, 30, 45 minutes. See how that's doing, then we'll uh, put some cookies in. All right, let's go. <laughs> what did you make? Some chocolate chip cookies. This is our first time making chocolate chip cookies in the oven. They look and smell so good. Let's see the before. And see if uh there we go. They actually mm -hmm. cook up. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Feel that? That's warm. Oh, yeah. it smells good in there. From the bread. Yeah, the wet cotton cloth that just adds some moisture in there to make everything not break and dry up. Awesome. Okay, so as this cooks, let's show them what it took to build this thing start to finish. Now we got it. one, two, three.
Oh, really? Solid. in the oven, bro. You're in the oven, bro. Looking good. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Foundation. I can see it. And it looks marvelous.
Some people claim that there's a woman to blame, but I know. Je m'appelle Jake. Je m'appelle Nicole. What do you think? I just revealed the first edge. Ooh. I tapped the heck out of it, so I should have tapped like all the air bubbles out. Yeah. That looks great. But since it's so wet here, like I've never laid concrete in such a wet environment. Yeah. This is like five days in. It's still... So it'll probably take like, like a week to still like fully dry. Maybe two. Don't pivot. Don't pivot. <laughs> cool. That was a beautiful dance. Thanks. Good boy. How's that? It's so pretty! <laughs> Alright. There's your pizza oven. Oh, it's ready. <laughs> it's ready. <clears throat> what do you think about the size shape of that? That's good. Alright, so pizza oven, what you're going to see us do is build the base out of the cinder block. And we're going to get it up to where we want the base of the pizza oven to be. So, I don't know, somewhere around here. And then we're going to pour another sheet of concrete countertop with rebar in it for strength. And the pizza oven will all go on that countertop. So Nicole and I have to right now build it up, put the countertop on there. Then we can start building the oven. So we laid it out. So the countertop next to the pizza oven, wood or concrete, why do you think concrete would be good? Because uh, then we can like build our pizzas on it and just... We have wood countertops everywhere, so it'd be nice to have like something different. So you want to like polish it nice so that you can put the food right on there directly. Yeah. Okay. Nice. We got to do a roof over this thing because uh, it can't get wet. All right. Uh, I'm gonna have this done in ten days. Ten days. Ten days. <laughs> Let's well, go. Okay. <laughs>
uno más. Up and how far forward can I go? Okay, there. Keep watching. Okay, think you can hold that for a sec. I am in love with this post. He worked so hard for this and I, I love it. Get it, Nicole. Let's go, Cole! Come on, Coley! Get the dry stuff at the bottom! You got this! Tag your partner, Jake! Take over! Finish it up! on uh, debris and the whole alert. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go one move. Drop it down, and then lift it up. Drop it down, and then we'll one, two, three. Pick it up and put it on the tire. It is a little lighter than when I put it here. It's just the transition. I bet it's a hundred pounds lighter. Whoa, I'm losing it. Okay, where? I think just drop it right here. Just watch yourself. Puma's face. <laughs> what did he say? He was like, that was so funny. Because he loves sticks. It kind so of like shocked him. He's like, whoa. He probably was like, yes, get that stick. Look at his face now. He's like, get the stick, Puma. That was good. 
Why do you know we're talking about you? Go home. Oh, this would be harder not since on the ground. For Frodo. So it might be easier for you to drop it this way. I'd say drop it right here. Okay, watch out. Slide him up a little more. Great job. How's that feel? <laughs> what hurts the most, uh, lower back, legs, or arms? Arm. My right arm. Shake. High five. Good job.
going. Thank you so much. You can come out of the dungeon. <laughs> My time out over. Oh. <laughs> I know that was annoying. Thank you. Um, maybe it blocked me. You hit the log so I can meet. Oh, it's, it's brushing right off. Okay, thanks. I refuse to put um, any kind of concrete in here until you get up here and stand on top and test it. What? Yep. One, two, three, go. Okay, step in the middle. <laughs> and I'm gonna have rebar. <laughs> Is that still a thing? I don't even know how long it goes. Spin. Fall back. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Hey, nice curls today. Thanks. I did the no heat curls overnight. It looks kind of like a, a different Nicole. Like, like, a, like a poodle Nicole? Alternate dimension Nicole. Yeah. This morning it was like... <laughs> so it's kind of tamed a little bit right now. I like it. Kiss. He's right there on the stick. See him, the little guy? That's the song. Oh. Face. <laughs> you're so cute with the hair and the curls and you're looking at me for a reaction like yes is that okay
so it's important at this part we go like slow and together. What do you think? That's great. I think it's great. Okay. Okay. Excellent work. Great job, my dear. <laughs> Good job, Kai. You worked so hard today. Is that why you're so tired? Psh, not <laughs> lazy. I am poop. I retire. <laughs> Done. Next to Puma and the Chofu here with the yurt behind there. And I found a uh, an 18 footer that's of the perfect length. That's the two poles that we're gonna put the mast on for the roof. And uh, there's the security cameras that we've got all over the property. We got like half a dozen of these now. Um, So you just gotta come over here and really hold the ladder strong, I guess. The, the post will stay on that, I'm pretty sure, but. Good so far? Okay, now I'm gonna pivot it so I don't want. I just don't want it to hit our. Okay, I'm gonna lift it and then you just keep it on that ladder. Tell me if it starts to move. Okay. Oh my god, I needed it every inch of my six too. Still on there? size to bring it down so it's level but it's up there mm -hmm. this side's because actually this side's higher but right now since it didn't hit the bottom if I just cut another half an inch off that it will be perfectly level It's pretty thick. Yeah.
And it cooks great. It's like five and a half, six inches of thick concrete. Yeah, that's what you wanted. Yeah. So when you are up on this high, this is still kind of low. So once the brick's up here, that's where you'll put the pizza and the bread. I think we got it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm pretending to put pizza in. <laughs> How's the height? It's good. And then you're going to take this out when it dries a little bit more? I think now. You don't think I'll cave in? <laughs> Your face. <laughs> like... You don't think it'll cave in? It's been four, I mean, like, this is day four. No, but it's been three and a half days. This is day four. I mean, like, like, look at this. You... Like, this is solid. And it's got rebar in it. I like, know, still... ten pieces of rebar. If it falls and caves in, it's not my fault. But I think that, like, a beautiful tile and then brick on top, that'd be amazing. Mm -hmm. So actually the pizza... <laughs> Scared him. So actually the pizza will be, like, this high. <laughs> or bread or whatever. I'm excited for the uh, cast iron pot cooking in this thing. Like, we can bring the Dutch oven back out and really go for it, you know. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thanks for the... Bye, guys. Thanks for the approval. <laughs> Supervisor Nicole. How are you making out? How much? I'm good. This one's done. What do you think? Um, To, uh, to find them. Yeah? That's cool. Did you go on the small raised bed or the big one? The big one. 
Here comes some pretty big ones. So. Nice. What do you think? Got done milling. <laughs> How many pieces of board? Nine, ten? Oh, a dozen easily. So many. This is for the roof of the pizza oven. <sighs> Takes a lot out of you to mill so much. <laughs> Ugh. It's a pain in the buttocks, is what it is. <laughs> okay, so huge rainstorm is coming. Um, wind. Coming. It's supposed to start raining in like an hour and then a huge storm. So we're trying to get this done before that. But we're, well, actually, we're done. So now we just gotta tarp everything and protect it from the rain. A storm is coming. Ooh, so spooky. <laughs>
you guys have been following our vlog for a while when you guys saw us first build this uh, temporary garden with the boat in the back, uh, we brought in some compost to get the garden started and now we're creating our own compost. But the compost was in bags and um, it's locally made compost, biodynamic, super organic, but it's also in those plastic bags and I just didn't want to treat those plastic bags as single-use plastic. Nicole and I have been trying to not use plastic at all. So we've saved all the bags and we just thought maybe we'll find a use for them in the future and honestly I, I just couldn't think of what we were going to use them for. Well, I know what I'm going to use them for. I'm going to take all these plastic bags that used to have compost for the garden in it and I'm going to staple gun them to the top of the planks that we just milled and then I'm going to take the, uh, the cedar roof shingles that we repurposed from somebody that has a homestead nearby, had them in their truck for two years, and we took half the old cedar roof shingles and we put them in a pile over here and they're kindling. The other half were the biggest ones I thought still had life left in them and we're going to put them on top of the bags and so the bags are like the meat in a wood cedar sandwich, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, let's see if this uh, really insulates this pizza oven so that no rain ever gets in. Roof all done. Well, it's not done, but. Well, oh, okay, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> ma'am. Thank you, dear.
Babe, it looks awesome. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. It's super unprofessional because it's all reclaimed, mismatched pieces, but... No, I think it looks great. I mean, then there's like moss that's gonna grow on it and... It's already started. Yeah. It's like a witch's cottage roof. It looks great. <laughs> let me, let me see if I can somehow gracefully get over to, uh... The leaf blower? My electric blower. Normally, like, I'm much more daring. And then, like jump off stuff like this and things, but like being so remote, I just don't want to have an exit. It's coming for you. One, two, three. Nice job. Can you uh catch this up on you? Ah. Nice job. <laughs> Successful. Well, if you fall, then we'll get it on camera. <laughs> Let's think positively. Basically, the way that I think about this is there's going to be the bottom of the oven that things like bread, foods, pizza, cookies, whatnot will cook on. That's going to be fire brick, uh, a brick that's specially made to handle high temperatures. But then if you light a fire on top of the fire brick, it is possible that all the heat inside the oven can escape out underneath the fire brick. So you don't want to put the fire brick directly on the concrete countertop because let's say I just mortar fire brick directly to the countertop, then the heat will find a way to escape through the mortar mix and through the countertop and I'll lose a lot of the heat and it. What I wanna do is I wanna heat this oven up, cook a pizza, but then also cook things all day long for hours and hours and hours because I'll be able to take the fire out of the oven, but yet all that heat will stay active in the oven all day long and as the temperature in the oven drops we can cook other foods 
depending on the temperature as it reduces down to zero. So let's say it's like 800 degrees, we can do a pizza. But then if it drops back to 600, 500, 400, as it cools down, we'll cook other foods and we'll time it just right. So I want all that heat to stay in the floor. I also want it to stay in the walls. So I gotta insulate below the fire brick. And the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm laying all these recycled bottles that I've been saving for a year and a half and they're empty. And as soon as I cover them with this mixture I'm gonna make, it'll trap air in those bottles. And then those bottles will absorb and release heat inside the floor of the oven and they'll do that all day long. So what I'm gonna bury those bottles in is a mixture of perlite and cement, maybe a touch of sand. You guys will see. So I've only ever used perlite for garden soil. So it's gonna be a cool use of perlite, which is, you think it's uh, styrofoam, but it's actually like very light rock, very porous rock. And usually it's used in gardening to cause drainage in the soil. So perlite, cement, maybe a touch of sand mixture. And then I lay the fire brick on top of that. And that's gonna be a better insulator. So as the heat goes in the fire brick, it'll hold itself in that perlite. And then when the fire's done, it will release back into the brick and back into the oven.
I got the two layers of materials here. The outer layer is concrete countertop, cement and gravel and sand. And this inner layer is the perlite cement mixture and sand. So I'm going to put the fire brick on here. And this inner layer is what's gonna really help to insulate all the heat and keep the heat inside the oven as opposed to letting it escape. So I've noticed that the outer layer is not exactly level in every place. So I'm just taking some sand here and kind of just massaging it in. You won't see any of this anyways. And then I put my fire brick there and then it's like perfectly level. I'm gonna lay all these fire bricks out and then uh, trace the shape of the pizza oven. stare at you. That's fine. It's going to be a beautiful oval oven. Thanks to uh, Mailtime and a lovely YouTube audience member. Mm -hmm. You got this pizza peel, so thank you to the audience. Yeah, thank you. It's an awesome gift. So we're going to make sure that this can go in there. Now sometimes the pizza might be bigger than the peel. So let's make sure there's a lip. Mm -hmm. We also have Yeah, the, we don't want it to do with that exact size. Yeah, for sure. So it's gotta be at least I'm thinking it's like something like if this is the center, the mouth has gotta be like like whatever that is. Three. Like. That looks appropriate. <laughs> it's true. The cast iron, that's also going to have enough room, right? For sure. The dome height is, if the dome height's 100, then the mouth height has to be 63. Mm. And if you don't do exactly what I say, I'm going to give you the peel. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Look at that oval, who drew that? Nicole did. What an awesome oval. Thanks. <laughs> now the hard work's done and we get to have fun doing the dome and cob. Ooh, cob. <laughs> That's right. Ooh, maybe bacon with pineapple? <laughs> That's nice. Okay, our pizza will be ready in 10 minutes. Cool. Puma is attacking you. He is. <laughs> what I could do is I could bring over some more sand to keep going in the back of it.
What do you think? Thank you. All right, what's next up? <laughs> the most stressful one for me. All right. Let's go for it. All right. You guys Let's even... do it! Can they even see you Let's back there? Let's our dome. Let's You're like... do the best part, the dome. That entire scene, you were in a shadow. Oh. Now you're in the light. Like a creepy, the creepy shadow monster. <laughs> you are a... Just watching your every move. <laughs> More like the, the beautiful shadow monster. Oh, thanks. That's like how I get you. Extreme close up. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> We're thinking about this mortar. Look, it doesn't fall off the trail. Oh, are you serious right now? <laughs> yes. Okay, first little section part done. Now we're gonna make some chili, or you're gonna make some chili. Yeah, I'm, I'm craving chili. And it's like chili weather, for sure. Is that why it's called chili? Oh. <laughs> we just both had a light bulb turn at the same time. Is that why chili is called chili? Because it's like when it's chilly outside, you wanna. Tell us in the comments what's the origin of the word chili in English. Both of our minds just went. <laughs> that was so funny.
What do you think about this? Let me just go all the way around. What do you think? It's good. Bricks all the way around. I like it. Okay, I'm just gonna lay the extra pieces and then we can build our sand castle. This pizza oven is gonna have multiple layers of stuff that make up the oven. Uh, the first layer is gonna be brick. And this brick is gonna make a dome. And then after that, we're gonna have cob. And then after that, an insulation layer, and then more cob. And you'll see how it works if you guys follow the journey. So the brick is the first layer, and this is fire brick, designed to handle intense temperatures. And we have to make it into a dome shape. So how do you do that? Well. Different people have different methods of doing that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this center with a sand castle. Basically make a dome out of sand and the dome will be the exact height that we need. So we're gonna use sand to create this dome and then we'll begin to lay the brick against the sand as it comes up in a circular shape or in this case an oval shape. And then once the brick is mortared in place and it dries and it's hard, uh, then we'll just dig all the sand out. Yeah?
just looks like a mountain he's built, a total circle. Yeah. It's looking good. I can't believe this is taking this much weight. It's so heavy. Yeah. Hey, how's it looking? I think it's looking good. I think just like a couple more spots and then we're done and then start breaking it in. Cool.
I can't even tell you how challenging this is in the rain. Just my fingers are just falling apart. Just little winds. <laughs> Check this out. This is coming together nice, but I'm kind of baffled by this section here and how to connect it seamlessly so that it's brick on brick and we'll take the heat. And uh, I came up with this. This is like no playbook for this, it's all art. You can watch a million people do this and they all do it differently. It's like a piece of art. So there's my piece of art. <laughs> I cut this slant off of it <laughs> and then I'm going to put this right here and I cut that on a slant right here and that plugs in right there and then that butts in pretty tight and then when I put this on there oh my god I can't tell you how happy these joints right here make me this is fun but this is tedious and challenging I got a smile on my face but my soul is crying. <laughs> God. Hey. Hey. It's like the final two pieces, like my back. I think I'm going from 6'2 to like 5'8 right now, my height. <laughs> it's just tough, I can't go like this. Yeah, we're almost done. What do you think? Can you see it now? Yeah, see <laughs> it. Yeah. All right, one more piece. Let's see. <sighs> All right, this is the big moment. The last one is going in. How happy are you? Uh, <laughs> my back is too sore to be happy. I'm gonna be happy that you're not bored because uh, really Nicole's been the trooper letting me do this. Um, Cause it's like a one man job. Yeah, plus it's like my first ever I mean, I've mortared and bricked a lot of things and never a, a pizza oven, so... You ever seen a pro do like mortar and block and brick? They're so good. Mm. Well, the best part is coming up, and that's gonna be Cobb! <laughs> Next step. Next step. Yay! There's another step.
ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I love how you dump them with attitude. And then... <laughs> and then move them nicely. Nicole's so organized and she has to... It's uh, not that cold today, actually. But I'm gonna leave my beanie on at that school. So we're doing a Komorebi blend of sand and clay, but uh, more clay or more sand? More sand. Let's feel it, find out. Okay. I got you a little bucket. Ready? This is like really nice, fine sand with shells mixed in. It's in the breast pocket. Okay. Ready? We're supposed to mix it dry, but the sand is kind of wet. If you haven't noticed, it rains here sometimes. It rains here? Yeah. What? So how about we do like that, and then get your nice looking feet in there and we'll mix it up. Ooh. Just like uh, the dough for bowds, the same thing. But you don't use your feet. We can't use our feet for the, we're not supposed to use our feet for the bowds of dough. I've been doing that. Every bowser you've eaten has been foot bowser. <laughs> Dump some more in there. Let's, uh... Why are we doing this with our feet? Because <laughs> this is how you're supposed to do it. Yeah. Ooh, I'm dizzy. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. I think you really enjoy this. This is awesome. I feel like a kid. <laughs> okay, go for it. Let's go. Mix it. Don't touch. <laughs> what are we looking for? What kind of consistency? Um, like a paste. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to hold a snowball. Yeah. But be tough to separate, but then also not turn back into a flat disc. I think we need more clay. See if it makes a ball. Uh, oh my gosh, it's so sticky. I couldn't even pull it off of there. Try it. Pull it on off. So it's supposed to like make a ball, and if we do that, it doesn't go flat again. <laughs> that was weird. 
here. Do you see that? I don't even know if the camera can see that. A raindrop just like <laughs> hit it. Right on your... <laughs> that was crazy. That is, that's a little... Wait, hold, hold still a second. Ow! That, that hurt. <laughs> My feet are really cold. You know like the movie The Incredibles? When Mr. Incredible's running? And syndrome has all those balls. Yeah. Oh that, yeah, those black balls. That's what it's like. <laughs> it's like that's my weapon. No. <laughs> Some people have kicks and have punches. I have big balls of cob. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can pick this up onto there. Go for it. I'm getting dizzy. Like, you hold the baseball bat and you go like this. <laughs> Looks good. Yeah. How does it feel? I think it's about ready. I mean, on your feet. A little bit more. Oh, it feels, feels good. Feels good. Staying in a ball. And then what happens if you tear it in half? Sticky? Yeah. Because it should be sticky? Yep. when it goes in the cob. Oh, it's so strong. I can't believe it. Can you guys start in the corner? Uh, sure. Then we're gonna like hold it together and we can like press it. Okay, let's just put one shape. more there. There you go. Thank you. Okay, so just show me how we'll to do just, it. We'll just press them out to join them because we only want I mean honestly we only want a two to three inch layer this is for insulation so that's it you just really want it stuck to the Like it in here, so kind of fall. How does it feel up there? I mean, the mortar feels real strong, like super finished. It's been like for the very top five percent, it's been three days, four days, but for the bottom ninety-seven percent, it's been over a week. Okay, let's crack this baby open. But <laughs> so excited. <laughs> well, what we're gonna see is a moment of truth. This is this is the oven. We're gonna open this door, take the sand out, and it's the oven. And light the first fire. Yeah. We started this cob yesterday, but it feels like it hasn't dried at all. Mm -hmm. So I think these curing fires will not just help the mortar and brick expel moisture, but they're also gonna help bring a little bit of drying out to because people have seen like it's so wet here, so wet. There's no way this cob's gonna dry without these curing fires. Okay. Okay, I gotta take the door off without cracking my arch. That's you, you got it. Alright. Alright. What kind of dance is that? It's the getting warmed up dance. It's supposed to be negative three in two days from now. Celsius. Celsius. Alright, let's do it. Let me get my. Uh... Come on, Mace. <laughs> Like Jenga. Good job. <laughs> like Jenga. Okay, wait, wait, don't pull the door. <laughs> oh. 
That's cool. Yay! What was the purpose of the, uh, the newspaper? To know when you reach the top and to not get sand stuck to the brick. Almost done. Yep. It looks so good in there. Hello. <laughs> Is anybody home? Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Oops. I was supposed to happen that that's okay. I know. Babe, can you climb your entire body in there? <laughs> It's a hole. It didn't collapse on itself, so that's good. You did really good. Thanks. It's very nice. What do you think of the space as far as size goes? I think it's perfect. I mean, you could fit a couple of pizzas in there, a pie, some cookies. Yeah. Um, food. You ready to cook right now or what? <laughs> no, so we have to light our first fire because we still have like tons of cob to put over this and like insulation and stuff. External bricks. Yeah, so we're doing our first fire. It's going to be a really, really small fire just to kind of dry things out dry things out, and evaporate the water is what they said, right? Because it rains here. People didn't already realize Yeah, that. so it's going to be a really small fire just for like an hour and then pull it out. And then tomorrow we keep putting cob on it. And the next day we keep putting cob on it. And then we keep lighting fires and then until it's like eventually really big and then we can cook in it. Like a week of curing fires. Yeah, so we're close. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. Yeah. Wow, you're a good model there for this thing. And Bob over here in this corner. Just kidding. And coming up we're putting the flue right here the chimney on the external brick so for now the smoke will just come out here if that's okay with you yeah it's fine this will all be covered up though i know That works pretty good. Yeah. All right. Cheers to our first fire. I know we can't cook with it yet, but. <laughs>
It's officially going. Yay! We've been saving this for so long too. One of our Patreon members or YouTube fans sent this to our PO box. Yeah, thank you. So now we get to actually use it. Laser uh, thermometer. Digital thermometer reader. What does the actual fire read? The fire reads... Like all over the map, 900 degrees. Yeah, like 800 degrees is what it's saying. Like what if you crouch down and hit the dome, the top? Uh, it's saying like 110, 130. 130 right now? But the highest I've seen it go is 137 Fahrenheit. How about the side? We have 64. Cool. 68. Nice. Ooh! We're actually going to use this fancy thing. It's cool. <laughs> All right. Cheers to the bread and pizzas to come. Yes. And for those people out there watching, uh, we have a lot more to do. You know this is like um, hippie level 11, right? <laughs> to be barefoot in the rain in the forest making a, a mud oven so you can cook vegan pizza. <laughs> wearing, wearing a shirt that says spiritual gangster. <laughs> He's like, what is that? Babe, you're the man for doing this. I'm sorry, I can't help you. It's just too Why can't cold. You help me? It's too cold. 
on my girly feet. <laughs> it's pretty cold out here. Yes. It's just really cool that our sand has got this um, bluish tint to it. So it's making our cob blue. Yeah. I think it's really pretty. Michael Flatley, the Lord of the Cob. Look pretty good.
Hey, so this week has kind of been an exercise in patience. Uh, I have to let certain things cure and dry with the oven. It's a totally earthen oven, so you're kind of at the mercy of the weather. And as you can see, the weather here is very wet, which is good because things dry slowly. My mortar, my cob, um, all the pieces of this oven dry slowly, which makes less cracking and will make it stronger and uh, more permanent in the long run. But I can't just finish it all in one day because you have to wait when part A is drying, you have to wait till part A is finished drying before you go to part B and etc. So right now we're waiting for the cob to dry a little more before we put um, another insulation layer, which is gonna be more of that perlite cement mixture. Perlite is that light rock you normally use in garden soil. We're gonna use it with cement to make a little bit of insulation. And then one more layer of finishing cob on the outside. And in the meantime, I'm doing the archway of the finishing bricks and uh, doing a better job with the masonry work so that it looks better because um, this will all be visible. Now, the brick oven, as you can see, is almost gone. You guys were the only ones to see it, Nicole and I and you guys. So you'll never see the bricks again unless you see it from the inside when we're cooking. So I've had a fire going for about four or five days straight and I've been steadily increasing the size of the fire every day, um, curing my mortar, curing the brick, curing the cob. Uh, and I think we'll be ready tomorrow to put our perlite and cement mixture over this layer of cob, about an inch and a half of this cement perlite mixture. And then when that dries, a finishing layer of cob and then we're pretty much done. So today my goal is to finish the brick, the red brick archway and put in the chimney or the flue in the middle of it. So stick with me and uh, we'll do it together. If the fire runs low, I get distracted. I've been using this nice copper pipe that we found on Etsy and I'll be making these myself now. It's just a copper pipe with a hole in the bottom and it just focuses my breath into a stream of air that allows me to kind of bring back any fire from the brink of death. This has been a godsend for us for our wood stove in the yurt because in the early morning when it's cold and we've been sleeping, even if there's one ember, one coal left in the wood burning stove, I can put some cedar kindling on top of it and I can blow it back to a big fire really quick without any smoke coming in the yurt. So check it out, I'll show you. You ordered some sun? Yeah. 
Where is it? <laughs> I know, my order didn't go through. What do you think? I love it. So Jake just finished the arch. It looks great. I don't want to accidentally bump it. Um, but it looks awesome. And I mean, come on, look at this. Look how good this looks. It's like so clean and crisp and it looks so beautiful. We think turned out really good, babe. Thanks. So Jake ordered some amazing handmade tiles from, uh, on Etsy. They're so beautiful. So they're kind of Mexican, they're like a Mexican inspired tile look. Um, so that we have like a variety of different designs, all handmade, very, very beautiful. Jake and I had such a fun time opening the box and like seeing what was inside of it. And we're like, oh my God, this one looks so awesome. This one has to go on the stove. And then we made piles for different projects and other things going on. Um, so we're really excited with how they look. They are so beautiful. And you and I have such a history in Mexico, Arizona, and the desert Southwest. Yes. That's where we met. And Mexico was our first international trip. Right. Together as a couple. Well, my first international trip. So we're going to bring some of that flair to our Como Rebbe, yeah, Novotero oven. Yeah, I it's good to bring color. So if we don't want just red and gray, you know, we want to add a little bit of flair, a little bit of fun. Um, so we picked out the ones that we like the, the best, and we're going to do a strip of tile along the top, and then actually all around it is right, right? Just a tile all around it is what you said? I think they call it a, a trim. Yeah, so we picked the ones that we liked, and we're going to tile this up right now to add a little bit of texture, and I think it'll look awesome. <laughs> no, it feels warm. It's like a hand warmer, but it's looking good. All right, let's do the tile. Okay, let's go. I know, but it's, it's double on time. The pumpkin's staring at me. You're even wet. Hey, bud. <laughs> it's drop it. Shake. Okay. Is, that, is that Puma taking over? Getting jealous? What do you think? I'm good. I like your choices. I like your choices. Thanks. It's almost like we're collaborating together. <gasps> It's gonna look really. It's gonna animate it and bring it alive. Yeah. yeah. It's alive. It's alive. It's Kai. It's Kai. It's Kai. Calm yourself, Kai. When I let go, is it gonna stay? It did. Yay. It's like Django over here. Uh -huh. It's like Django over here. Hey, check it out. Oh, that's great. <laughs> you like it? Make sure I don't go up and down a little bit and you get another mark.
It's actually a lot warmer today. Yeah? For sure, yeah. So we got layer one of cob, which is on top of the brick, and now we're doing a layer of perlite and cement over the cob, and then we'll finish it once that dries with another layer of cob that's just a finishing beautiful layer with less straw, so it looks really beautiful at the end. Ch -ch -ch Chia. <laughs> Alright, what do you think? I think it looks good. The third layer done. Yeah. Right? The third layer? Yeah. It's like all furry. Yeah. Okay, so this has to dry for however long, <laughs> depending on the weather. A couple of days. And, and then is... the final layer. And then we're done. Cool. All right. Yay. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah.
Babe. This is the last cup. It's very sweet. <laughs> Are you excited? So it's our last layer, woohoo, and then we can eat pizza and bread and everything. Exactly. Everybody's been voting in the comments, uh, what do they want first, bread or pizza? Uh, pizza. <laughs> it is a pizza oven. That's true. Okay, I'm gonna go on vacation, you finish this, and uh, let me know when the pizza's ready. <laughs> okay. Vacation where? <laughs> oh yeah, we're yeah. stuck here. How's it feel? It feels, it feels really good. It feels strong. It's great. My favorite Knock it just one sunny day!
She balanced. Perfect. That's great. Bingo. Let's just do it. That's perfect. What do you think? What do you think will we'll just fit two or three? I three. Okay. So we need just to do two more planks then.
it's so hot. I think it just singed my arm hair off. Yeah. Don't I like your arm hair? <laughs> That's kind of weird. Oh. <laughs> so I started the fire and we had it going for an hour in the middle. Then we just moved it over to the left and we're going to cook the pizzas there on the left. So now it's kind of really warming the pizza area. So now we're going to move it to the right to keep the heat in the dome going. But now that area will be really hot, ready to cook. No, it's really hot. It's like a, it's like a wall of heat. Cause like out here, it's not that hot, but like once you get into the oven, it's really warm. It's so pretty. It looks really nice. Exciting. This is the hottest we've had it so far. The, the top of the dome is over 800 degrees. And the coldest spot 
at the bottom is close to 300 degrees and we did this over the course of a week we slowly built the fire up and uh started at like 200 next day 300 next day 400 stuff i gotta stop talking now because the pizza's gonna burn i gotta stay focused because it's cooking fast It's steaming. <laughs> Looks great. Yeah, it does. Ooh. Love to take it inside. Ooh, ooh. What do you think? I think I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> In a wind and rainstorm. Yeah, that was crazy out there. Let's give it a try. It looks legit. It's so amazing. Yes. You definitely, you know, realize some things that we need to make this a little bit smoother but this was our first time doing it and a pizza peel with a longer shaft yes it was so hot <laughs> super hot it like i think my arm my arm hair is singed oh no look my knuckles i know my hair i said um, oh my god you're right <gasps> you did get singed off we're learning this looks really good though yeah thank you to um all the YouTube fans and Patreon fans out there who watched this series and supported us and send us amazing things like the pizza peel and the temperature laser gun and yeah, everybody who played a part. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Okay. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Wow, that was really good. One bite, everybody knows the rules. <sighs> this is a 9 6. Oh, God. Honestly, not to brag, but I love it. Yeah. It's so good. It's really good. Mm. I think I could have made mine a little bit crispier, but. Mm -hmm. All right. Cheers. Mm. I ate the pizza before I drank. Okay. Ready. What do you think? I think they're done. The sun went down on this. Yeah, the sun <laughs> is gone. And it's like four o'clock. Yeah. The wet towel is now dry. Ooh, it's so feeling. It's so hot. Bread is definitely done. You want to smell your bread? It smells like bread. <laughs> what did you put in this one? I put some cinnamon and nutmeg and allspice. I put pepitas and sunflower seeds in them. Wow, it looks so good. It definitely smells like the sweetest, most delicious bread. Is that really no crunch at all? It's all crispy, but it's also soft. Mm. Okay, I'm pulling. Okay. Yeah, they didn't really flatten. But they puffed up. This is my first time making homemade <laughs> chocolate chip cookies from scratch. Can I try a bite? Sure, it's gonna be hot. Is it doughy in the middle? Mmm, I like it. Mm -hmm. Try one bite. It's soft in the middle and it's crispy on the outside. And they're kind of puffy, but they're good. It's hot. I like it. Crispy. I got some soy milk in there with my <laughs> For okay. And then the rest of the night, we're gonna put in some herbs to dehydrate. Maybe some veg, like some mushrooms or zucchini. Because now it's cooler, but it's still warm. Mm -hmm. So while we're sleeping, everything's dehydrating. And then I'm gonna build my wood pile for the next fire right now so that all my wet wood can be drying out using the heat of the oven so that in, I don't know, three, four, five days from now we do this again, my wood is cured and dry and ready to ignite. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Okay, let's go get that. <laughs>